Hi, it's Faye Ray, and in front of me is a project that I completed not too long ago, and I got the inspiration or the idea from Paper Kits, K-I-T-Z, here on YouTube, and she does uh, an altered drawing pad. And this is the Strathmore drawing paper pad, and you can get these at um, Hobby Lobby, which is where I got this, this one, and the one that I use my project for, and also Michaels has them. And Kit shows you how to um, prep the drawing pad so that it is um, the end result is um, this crafty book and she shows you how to create or design the different pages that go in it and so check her out she's paper kits and I think she has two projects that she uses um, the drawing pad for now the paper that I used for the project was the Crafty Stack by DCWV and I also used this Best Occasions Quick Page Pack and it has a lot of just little journaling spots and, and pages in it and I also used um, this uh, paper pad from Paper Tree Ink is called It's Official and it has these types of pages in it. Very pretty greens and browns and pinks. And also, I used some rub ons that I got from a, a Prima packaging. Let me see, can I find that? Uh, can't put my hand on that but they were some rub-ons. So when you hear me refer to um, those paper stacks, that's what I used. So here's the project. And as I said, it's made from one of those Strathmore drawing pads and I used the one that's, uh, I think this is five by eight or something like that, six by eight, a size, some size like that. And so on the front here, as I said, I used the crafty stack um, for some of my pages. And I also took the cover of the paper pad and used that as part of my cover for my book. And Kit also does that with uh, one of her uh, books. I used some thickers to spell out my, and then of course this is the crafty stack page my crafty life and so then I just added some different little things uh, but and then this was a flower that someone made for me and a little piece of jewelry finding there and so this is a one of the crafty stack pages and so I just made took a piece of uh, the pattern paper and I scored it and made a pocket for these tags and I'll probably uh, color those in later and this one I just stamped and did some um, masking on the back and this is from the paper tray ink paper stack and I just made it into a little book and then there's journaling and that's from the best occasions um, pack so this is the cover of the Strathmore drawing pad and so when you open it I've already added some pictures. This is a picture of my um, craft area, my studio, my craft room, my craft space, whatever you want to call it. And behind there is some of that best occasions paper. And this is just a little flower that I made. Uh, it's a, one of those uh, fabric kind of like flowers that you, you pick up at the craft stores. And there's a tutorial online on how to make that. And here is 
um, a print and cut that I did with my Cricut Imagine and it says and so it begins and so you can see the binding there of the, the drawing pad and so on this first page it's a flip page and I just made a little pocket here by tearing the paper some I added some buttons and there's one of those um, rub-ons from uh, Prima and then there's a tag that fits in there and here is some of that best occasions paper I just added the tab punch from stamping up and there's another rub on and on the back is a picture of me and some of my crafty friends and then here's some more of the paper and there's um, a lot of space for journaling there and I'll do that later and then it flips up and I have another angle from inside my craft space and that's part of that crafty stack paper pad cover um, this is from that best occasions and so there's a journaling spot and this is from the uh, paper tray ink pad and that's from the crafty stack and that just fits in there and on the next page uh, here is a picture of uh, some other crafts that I do uh, I make handmade handbags and again this is from the paper tray ink and there's some tags I tried to use every bit of paper uh, scraps that was left over so you'll see a lot of little tags that I did and this is a, a EK Success Punch that I got in one of the TJ Maxx hauls. And this is from the Best Occasion stack. It's just a little journaling tag. And that slips behind there. Of course, this is the Crafty Stack paper. And the first um, half page here, Kit shows you how to do these pages. Um, there are some tags that fit inside the pocket and another angle for my craft space I did some little journaling and then here's me on the back um, demonstrating the Cricut and then here's one of my minis that I did and in the background is my Bernina sewing machine and here is a layout I did of my daughter when she was two and so these just fit inside the little mini pocket here and I just added a flower that I had made and on the back of the pocket again here's a flower that I made here's some little mini tags that fit inside the pocket and they use that paper tray ink paper this is the best occasions and here's another mini pocket that's just folded in half and it creates a pocket so there's a tag here it has a picture here this is a picture of some of the mini albums I've done and then here is me again this was a scrapbook retreat that me and some of my crafty friends went to and I just stamped this dress form this is a girls paper redress form made some journaling lines and on the back side this is a picture of me and my daughter when we went scrapping in Beaufort South Carolina with some other friends and here are two pictures of some journals mixed media journals that I did and uh, here's a picture of me and this is just a fold out and here's a picture of another one of my craft buddies and on this page I created a pocket and so there are some tags and this is a picture of my granddaughter as you can see she's right in the middle of um, my craft chaos I guess you can say and she loves to be in my craft room with me and here's another um, mini page and Kit calls this a word pocket and here's a picture of a mini album I did using the Cricut Heritage cartridge. And these mini, these uh, word stick 
pockets have what she calls a word stick and so that just slides in there and I'm going to put some small pictures on the back side now on the back of that these are some other crafts that I've done uh, this is a jewelry set and this is a uh, handbag a patchwork handbag that I make and over here on this page I also do diaper cakes so these are some diaper cakes that I've made and on this page this is one of my best craft buds this is Darlene she and I are always talking about crafting and calling each other and texting each other and so these are some of her creations and she's a very precise crafter extremely talented and uh, loves Cricut as much as I do. And then on this page, this is sort of the inspiration page because this is what got me started, this sewing machine. And this is just a stamp that I stamped and then cut out. But this is how I got started crafting. My mom brought me one of these old sewing machines in the cabinet. And I wish I could locate where that sewing machine is now I wish I would love to have put it in my crafting space but I have no idea where it is but at any rate um, I would sew and sew and sew on this sewing machine and that I guess you could say um, got me into other types of crafting and um, but it started right here and so that's why I placed this phrase this is where your story begins and then here's a picture of me and this is um, from the quick page pack I just cut that out <coughs> excuse me and here's another um, pocket page and as you can see it's full of tags and whatnot. Now this is a um, hang tag that I got from some clothing and I thought that was really cute to save and put in some of my um, creations and so that's what I did and it's attached with one of those mini shipping tags and here's some more tags if I can get that out, it's stuck, of course. <laughs> Here it is. And these are some jewelry um, buttons here that I did. And I got that idea from Angela730 on YouTube. And here is a Stamping Up Brad bracelet that I created. And this pin. I also got from Angela. She was in one of my um, one of my swaps that I hosted, and she sent those to me. And I just made a little word pen, put some of those word beads on it, and spelled the word happy, and attached it to the pen. And I also made a little book with some of the leftover paper. As I said, I tried to use every bit of paper that was left so that I wouldn't have to add it to my scrap stash. And so I can put some journaling inside that. And on this page, another half page, I just added some tags and some photos. This is my beloved cuddle bug. Of course, everything is getting stuck. But this is my cuddle bug and this is my expression 2 and my gypsy in the background. And this is a tag with some of my friends. Gonna have to maybe hot glue that. And this is just some little tags that I made with some rub-ons and some paper from the best occasion stack. Another half pocket here with a pocket on the front um, and some tags and it creates a pocket 
here with the tag. Of course, nothing wants to come out. So that's a tag that fits right up top here. Let's see if it goes back in. It's easy. Okay. And then a picture again of my scrap buddies. And this is a stamp. And I colored it. Another half page with some more of my creations. Here's my granddaughter when she was crawling coming into my craft space and then an, another tag here and that same picture and this is some of Vera's creations and you'll see her on the next page she's an, another very talented crafter and that's Vera and this is a fold out page that Kit shows you how to do and these are some creations, some scrapbook layouts. And this is an altered frame I did of my granddaughter. And on the back is a mini album I did for Kelly, who's on this page. Her daughter's graduation. It's another mini album and another layout. And so here's Kelly. And as the picture says, so silly. And she is. She acts silly sometimes, but she's also very talented. And here is Patrice. Patrice has been called the jack of all trades because she has awesome talent in so many different arenas of crafting. And so we um, say that Patrice can do it all. And here is another half page. And here's a mixed media journal I did. Here is... Uh, my name I did on one of those license plate um, stamps and this creates a pocket so there's a journal and card I extended the pattern paper here to do some stamping and I stamped this um, dress form and on the back this was a trip I took to the scrapbook convention in Atlanta and I got to meet some of the Cricut message board members this is Miss Soft Brown got to meet her and over here these are some half pages word stick pages but they're closed or they don't have a word stick in them and this was a scrap sleepover we had at Vera's house and we had a lots of fun and these are some of my creations again uh, a card there this is an embroidery um, project I did that makes a cover for the mini composition books and then on the back of those is a picture of a layout I did I left a window or cut a window there and um, that's due for some journaling on this page here's my first Cricut that I got my baby bug here's a camera that I um, used uh, to photograph my projects. I've since gotten another camera. And uh, here's a sign that Darlene made for our Cricut Crafters meet that we have. Um, usually once a month, sometimes once every two months, whenever, it, whenever everyone is available. But I took just a regular business envelope and made a fold out and these are some of Darlene's projects these are some of Patrice's flowers and then there are some tag, shipping tags behind there that are just stamped and on this page I took that frame and inside put a picture of my granddaughter and myself did some journaling put a little tag here and on this page this is a fold out also that kit shows you how to do for your book and I just uh, have included some pictures of projects I've made. This is uh, one of the mini albums I made using the Cricut cart. That is um, the first in the series of the Cricut mini album series that I do on YouTube. Here is a 
flour or cut with my Cricut and use some wallpaper to make that. And then this flips up. I did some drawing. And um, these are some other flowers I cut with my Cricut. And then on the back, here is another flower I made. I love flowers as well. And this is a mini album I made using the Cricut Cartridge Heritage. And then on the back page, I just made a um, pocket. There's a tag. This shows what my desk often looks like. And some of that paper tray ink paper on the back. And you can see some of the paper in the background. Here's uh, that rub on from Prima. And on the back, there's just uh, a label there for me to um, write something. And I also did a little tag here using one of the scallop tags you can buy from your um, office supply stores. I stamped that dress form again and also this um, frame and this is from the girls papery this clock and I made it double sided there. <laughs> okay, So this is the project that I made um, using the instructions given by Kit and she's paper kits K-I-T-Z here on YouTube and she uses the Strathmore drawing pad to create um, these books. So they are very addictive. I can't wait to get started on my next one and um, I hope you like the project and I hope you'll try one. So thanks for watching.